continue on the record with Richard to say. Question three. John Tierney took the 6th District in 1997. Who held that seat before he did? Peter Torkelson. For two terms. Who was the last 6th District Congressman to be indicted for a crime? Nick Marvulis. Indicted in 1992 of corruption and later pleaded guilty. Can you name all five people who will be on the gubernatorial ballot in November? All five. McCormick. I'll take last names. Okay. That's fine. McCormick. Got it. Falchuk. Got it. Baker. Got it. Moakley. Got it. And the Reverend. Coakley, but whatever. Oh, Co I'm sorry. Coakley. That's okay. And the Reverend Livesey. Lively. Lively. Very good. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, that's like a 99 percent. All right. You're off the hot seat. Very good. Thank okay. you. Okay. Um, let's switch to some local issues. Casino licenses have now been awarded. Yep. Did the commission do the right thing, giving it to Steve <clears throat> Wynn instead of Suffolk Downs, where so many jobs are now gone? Well, you know what? I don't think anybody has any confidence who's watched this whole process. It's sort of like the marijuana, medical marijuana process of awarding the licenses, where a former congressman got three of the licenses. People who have been watching uh, this whole process, I don't think, have a lot of confidence um, that the process, um, you know, uh, is as good as it could have been. And I, I just have to say on casinos in general, I'm going to vote against the question uh, when it comes up. I voted against it in the legislature. Um, you know, everybody thought, thinks that casinos are the be all and end all, and they're going to Create all this economic development. I, just, I think the opposite. Look at what's happening. Are you spooked by Atlantic City? Yeah, I'm spooked by Atlantic City. You have casinos closing down there, and then you're going to have three opening up here. You know, maybe one right. casino. But you and voted. I, I, but do you vote when you were in the Senate for casinos? No, I voted. Not? I voted against uh, that bill. Um, and to you know, create uh, the to gambling. To create the gaming three gaming. because I thought it was too much. And I also think having a casino right in the Greater Boston um, metro area, it's like a magnet. It's going to suck all the economic activity. Um, restaurants, other entertainment venues, and it's not going to be good. You know, this isn't what we should be talking about. You know, as far as getting the economy going again, the way to get the economy going again is to get small jobs, uh, sm small job creators, small businesses comfortable and confident hiring people. What about again. Springfield? There's been an argument made that Springfield maybe does need a casino, even if a lot of people are against if, the idea in other parts of the state. If we're going to have one, I'd rather have it um, in another part of the state. Would you support the idea of maybe creating one casino in Springfield? Ideally, that is a lot more palatable, I think, than where the road that we're heading down right the, now. The, the National Football League has been in the news a lot lately, and I'm not just talking specifically about, about how teams are mm -hmm. performing on the field or how, how franchises or the Patriots are going. I'm talking about domestic violence cases against NFL players, uh, uh, partners beaten, children beaten. Does the commissioner need to go, in your opinion, just, to, yeah. just as a man who is observing the way a business is being operated? Well, I'll tell you what, as soon as the first allegations came out on another TV show, I came right out and said that he should be, he should have been fired. And I think the longer he stays, the more of a quagmire it becomes for the NFL. And I think that the NFL should come out, um, they should make a change, and they should be very clear uh, that that you know this type of behavior uh, isn't going to be tolerated and you know um, I think of all the young kids who are watching this go on and you know see that there hasn't been any real action taken against him. It sends a terrible signal out, and I, I do think that something should happen. I, fi I find it interesting that the sponsors really haven't backed out. Radisson Hotels backed out of the Minnesota Vikings, but the other sponsors, although right. they threatened, haven't done it, which is you know surprising. the most amazing thing is you know you get the NFL um, as a non-tax entity, right? Um, and which think, in and of itself is an argument, which right? In and of itself, I, well, right. it just makes you realize our tax code ten uh, billion dollar a year industry. Our tax code right. needs uh, to be changed, right. and uh, there are so many different special provisions. Put in. Um, one of the things I do want to work on is getting ta our tax code, um, you know, getting all those special carve outs out and lowering the rates to make us more competitive. Richard say thank you for joining us thank this you. morning. Greatly appreciate thank it. You so we much. thank Richard say the Republican candidate for the 6th Congressional District, for being here. And when we come back, OTR's Ted Reinstein talks to voters about the candidates for this race. How do you feel about that? I think that's a great idea. <laughs> I really do. I love, I love seeing what you call fresh blood.